We are ready for some live music in our studio. Very happy to have with us uh, returning Wooden Ships, the uh, brand new album about to be released next week. It's called Back to Land, and a tour is uh, going to be happening uh, all over the place. But we're uh, here with uh, Wooden Ships to play live in our studios. And if you guys are ready for a couple of songs from the new record, that'd be wonderful. Oh, you 
Live music here at 90.3 KEXP. You're listening to Wooden Ships Ruins, the song right there in the first one, These Shadows. The uh, brand new album, Back to Land, it's going to be released on the Thrill Jockey label this time, and it's coming out a week from tomorrow, November the 12th. Wooden Ships are about to uh, head all over the place for a tour, other parts of the U.S., and then you guys are going to Europe, and then you will be back here on the West Coast in 2014. I want to say Happy New Year when I say 2014. <laughs> I got something to circle now on my uh, 2014 calendar. Uh, Wooden Ships will be back here in Seattle Friday, January 17th at the Crocodile. Again, thanks so much for uh, K 
coming back. So uh, Ripley's here. We have Nash and Dusty and Omar. Saw you guys. Saw you, uh, Ripley, last time you were here with uh, your other band, uh, Moon Duo. Yeah. Was here in the building for that. So nice to, to see you back. again. Thanks for having us. Now you've been living. Uh, you've moved to uh, Portland. Yeah, Omar and I have both moved to Portland, and you, the other two guys are still down in San Francisco. You dragged Omar with you. Yeah, I'm trying to drag everyone with me. Okay. So how long now have you been living in uh, Portland? About a year now. Yeah. About a year. And uh, you actually were somewhere between San Francisco to Portland. You were living in Colorado, Colorado, and now it's yeah. Portland. So this album starts with uh, with your your move to Portland, or things kind of getting going there in Portland. I wonder if you could talk about that a little bit. Yeah, um, I had been living there about six months when uh, we started writing the album, and so a lot of a lot of the themes in the album have to do with home and feeling at home and, and finally moving into a, like a permanent residence and unpacking all my things and, and sort of hunkering down in the Portland winter. Yeah. We know about that here in the Northwest. <laughs> yeah. Was it windy for you guys yesterday in Portland? Uh, no. No? It oh, nice, it's, no, it actually. stayed here in Washington. <laughs> Lost power in the whole thing at my house. So well. you guys missed it. Nicer day here today to drive up from Portland. So, um, then, uh, so Omar has moved up to Portland. You're trying to get the other guys. So how about uh, communicating your ideas to the other guys who are still down in the Bay Area? Is that pretty easy to do? Um, I don't know. Do you guys receive any ideas from me? <laughs> Not so much. Um, we've been up to visit quite a bit, Nasher and I. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. we get them to come up, and, um, and we just sort of cram everything in over really sort of intensive re- weekends. Yeah. So are, are there any ideas on this new record you can pinpoint that may have not happened if you hadn't moved to Portland? Um, I think that just the general feeling of the album to me is is much more laid back. I don't know if that's true. That's in my mind. That's how it is. Yeah. But you know, I, I'm not a very good judge of our of my own music. But to me, it has more of a laid back feel, and that and that comes from um, spending the winter in Portland. It's it's a very relaxed city, as I'm sure yeah. you're aware. Yeah, love visiting there. I still like that you uh, the the vocals are still kind of in the place where they for me they've been in the, they're in the same place as they've been before with the <laughs> other the other albums it just sort of fits the overall mood even though maybe the songs may uh, the tempo may uh, increase or decrease a little bit the vocals are still kind of right there one of the things I enjoy about the band cool all right um, you guys are about ready to head out on a uh, lengthy tour and as I said they will be this way in January seventeenth at the crocodile and um i wanted to ask you a week ago today sunday uh was a passing of lou reed i was wondering if there was any th- thoughts you would like to share with us about thinking about lou any of you guys um i don't it was you know for me i think it what was surprising was how um how sad it was for me um because i didn't i wasn't spending a lot of time thinking about lou reed recently right but once he passed, I um, started thinking about um, how big of an influence he was on me personally. Yeah. And um, I know everyone, you know everyone talks about how big of an influence he is on everyone. Um, but for me, I don't know, I felt it really more personally than I thought I would have. Um, so I was pretty sad, actually. A lot of outpouring, obviously, with people who listen to our station. And, you know, the days following that, uh, a lot of uh, listener... Um, reaction, obviously, and uh, requests and thoughts that people had. So I think uh, a lot of what people were thinking are kind of the same sentiments that you're talking about right there. Yeah. So it was a pretty uh, pretty interesting week with uh, his passing. Yeah. Wooden Ships are uh, got the new album coming out next week, Back to Land. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. It's kind of nice to see more land after the previous album with all the water (laughs) i don't know if there was any thought in that or not or just turned out that way anyway if you guys ready for a couple more songs yeah